They came to fulfill a fantasy. Richard Gere. Me. A dream. Julia Roberts. Would you be Joyce? To act on a desire. He plays her a love song. They came to lose themselves. And then they have sex on top of the piano. In a place with mayhem on the menu. No matter where your keys are, hit her. Everybody needs friends. Clive and Joyce Boot are going to have sex on the piano. Everybody needs a place to belong. The key finder will find them. Everyone in this cafe tonight will have a sexual fantasy. <laughs> what is your fantasy? From the writer of Preston Front. Ronnie, sex on the piano, let's go. All you have to do is whistle. Border Cafe. New drama starts 9th of July on BBC One. They've got to act like a soldier. They've got to forget about breaking the nails. They've got one year to become army officers. We're training for war. We're not mucking about here. Will they have what it takes to command 30 men? I can't! Stop talking like this. If you can't handle what we're doing, you shouldn't be here. I can't think of a better way to enjoy myself than running around with huge, sexy guns. The battle lines are drawn for the all-female 11th platoon. When are you going to let us loose? <laughs> guns and Roses starts tomorrow at 8.30 on BBC One. The Euro 2000 replay of tonight's semi-final match is just around the corner on BBC One after the Weather View with David Brain. Hello again and welcome to Weather View. We have some quite interesting weather right now across the Americas, so that's where I'm going to start, with South America in particular. The big picture shows this lump of cloud. If we get in a bit closer, we can see the extent of that line of cloud. It's produced some heavy rain, not too far away from Buenos Aires. In Concordia, in Argentina, we've seen 44 millimetres of rain falling in the space of a day. That's three quarters of the monthly average. But I think the good news is it should dry up, and many of these cities across South America will see some sunshine as we move through Thursday and into Friday. Now, for the Caribbean, we're seeing a scattering of showers, but also a little bit of sunshine. But as we travel further north into North America, we've seen some very wet weather. Here, Dodge City in Kansas has caught 46 millimetres rain in six hours. That's certainly heavy enough to cause some local flood problems. And we can see lots of colour on the radar here, lots of showers around, and possibly more to come, especially on the Gulf Coast, where we can see a great rash of showers also linking in to that rain which is lying across the eastern seaboard. And that's a weather front that's going to be around through Thursday as well. I think the Midwest should dry up with an area of high pressure, but that weather front continuing to generate some rain. Well, in contrast to that, it's the heat that's been a problem on the other side of the Atlantic into Turkey. And here we've seen temperatures on the eastern side of Turkey up at 39 degrees Celsius, quite a bit above average, and not much changing for this part of Europe. Contrast to that to our rather me mediocre maximum, 24 degrees in Cardiff. It wasn't brilliant, but it was the warmest place. We could see 22 or 23 degrees tomorrow, but a lot of cloud has been spilling in. It's been coming in from the southwest, that line of cloud. It's been joining up with this line of cloud, the two merging together to give one main band of patchy light rain in places and that's going to be with us for much of the night and also for much of tomorrow as well where we've got that cloud i think the nighttime temperature is falling no lower than around 12 or 13 degrees so thursday morning starts off rather gray rather dull for the central parts of england through the northwest of england into parts of northern ireland scotland sees a little bit of brightness trying to get through and the same for the southwest of england but here i think further showers developing through the afternoon and also showers turning up elsewhere so rather more unsettled as you move through Thursday and into Friday and perhaps temperatures up to around about 21 we may see a 23 but down those more cloudier parts of the northeast of England and down into East Anglia we may well say no higher than around 14 or 15 through the day now for the tennis that does mean possible interruptions for Thursday's play a little bit of drizzle in the morning at Wimbledon perhaps turning a bit more showery through the afternoon. Friday also keeping the band of cloud close enough by to give a little bit of the wet stuff and temperatures around about 19 at best. The outlook for the next few days, well this area of low pressure trying to get in very slowly making its way towards us and eventually it'll bring milder air back across us but also with a risk of some more persistent rain. As you can see no shortage of weather fronts across the United Kingdom all the way through till Sunday so we are turning a little bit more unsettled. That's Friday's picture, a lot of showers in these central areas, more persistent rain moving into the more northern parts of Scotland. And then through Saturday and Sunday, that band of rain sweeping in from the southwest. It will bring warm and humid air, but also the showers. Bye for now. P.L. and Pasco. Superintendent, my office. Dedicated policeman. I'm hearing the voice of decent concern. Or a desperate DI who can't wait to charge him. Deeply professional. I expect you to pay me due care and attention. It's one thing Pasco and I've got a heart. I don't want the rest of the Nick finding out. Dangerous players. I'm telling you to go by the book. This is not a good idea, Andy. Difficult problems. I've got a warm corpse lying on the copper's bedroom floor. 
call that a mild embarrassment, wouldn't you? Distinctive partnership. I'm your servant, Andy. You give the orders, I do the job. New drama, Diel and Pasco, Saturday at 5 past 8 on BBC One. This is BBC One with Euro 2000.